everybody, I'm Elise Explosion. Now, this is another one of those videos where I bought something that was targeted marked, marketed to me. Target marketed. Targeting market? Anyway, uh, these showed up in a like targeted marketing ad from Hot Topic, which was weird because, um, okay. But I didn't buy them from Hot Topic. I brought them directly from the manufacturer. These are the Cutie Beans by Fiesta Toys. And these are the Snugglies Series 3. Now, I don't know if there was a Series 1 and Series 2 of Snugglies or if it was just Series 1 and Series 2 of Cutie Beans. But I saw these and I just, I, I squealed because of how adorable I thought they were. And it's ridiculous and it's dumb. But I saw these and I'm like, I need to have these. Now, unbeknownst to me, uh, I didn't put two and two together until after I made this purchase. If you guys saw the video where we went to the Camden Aquarium, I think it was last year, Michael bought me a blobfish plushie. And the blobfish is actually part of the Snugglies line. Like Snuggle and Ugly put together. Extremely cute. Um, but what got my attention most was that there was an axolotl. So I hunted down the axolotl on eBay because I'm like, oh, I will only want the one of these. And then it arrived and I spent about 40 minutes crying over how cute it was. And I decided, you know, nope, I got to do a whole video on these guys. So I picked up six of them. They were, they were about $5 each, which is a totally reasonable price and one that I'm willing to pay for a blind package collectible. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump right into it so you all can see how cute these are. Now, um, I bought a new cutting things open knife, like, uh, because those scissors were giving me a lot of trouble and hopefully this is gonna be not dangerous. Uh, joke's on me, it's always going to be dangerous. But, we open it up and there's a little bitty egg. And inside the egg is, oh, it, it's egg printed and you open it up and there is a little, oh, I don't think this is the right, we'll see, we'll see. This package is uglies so, or snugglies. So this might be a little different from the one that I actually have, but don't matter. It, there are apparently tons of these little cutie beans. And they're, they're a small plush, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a very, very small plush. So I'm just gonna open this bad boy up. Um, that's why I have a knife. Just mind your fingies. Yeah. And the first one we've got, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Look, it's a little tardigrade! Oh, oh baby! They're so small! This that's only a, a little bit bigger than a real tardigrade. Yeah, so this is a sea pig. Uh, and this is exactly the reaction I had. They are super tiny. They are like two inches tall. They are like squishmallows for your mini squishmallows, but they are full of beans. They're little beanbag buddies. And they're just, they're precious. They're it's so like a squishmallow cute. for a Barbie. Yeah, it's like a, it's literally like Barbie scale squishmallow. So first up is the sea pig. And we will get close-ups on these at the end. You know how we do around here. But holy peas. This is a cute thing. I'm so excited. Next one. I, I know that I, I never hope for duplicates in a... Uh... Honestly, if, if I get duplicates in this series, I would not even complain in the slightest because they're so freaking cute. cute. So here's number two. And again, it's, it's not easy to tell what's inside because they are literally all the same shape. Um... And this is, I think this is another sea pig. Yay! I am hoping that the color of... I hope that doesn't mean that everything yeah. in the yellow egg is a sea pig. Yeah, I hope that's not the case. So here's number three. Eh. I need a little bit more cutting. Okay, yeah, this is, this is definitely a much better knife for like slicing boxes, I'm guessing, but it works for these two. It does, it does give me a fear. It presents me with a fear. One fear? Yeah. All right. This is another sea pig. I'm probably gonna be a little upset. Not like too upset because they are extremely cute. It's a different color. It's a different color. We have 
Oh my gosh. Oh! It's a giant dicepod! This is... No, I'm sorry. This is the pill bug! Hello, oh, pill bug. Hello, hello. Again, only marginally larger than a real pill bug. It's so cute. And it's got like a little happy mouth. Oh, and all of the... Oh, they've got little like... You can see on the little paws, it's got like little designs to make it look like little click, like grabbers. These are... These are unbearably cute. Like, I really cannot handle how stinking cute these are. And, like, that's the problem that I had and why I ended up having to buy... Having to buy. I didn't have to buy anything, but Which I was she chose compelled to buy, to buy more. Uh, because they're just... They're so... Oh, I'm going to slice this one a little bit too much, and this might be another sea pig. I hope you didn't cut the baby. Nope. But it is another sea pig. Sea pig must be super common. Sea pig must be the common one. Unless sea pig is really rare and we somehow stumble on a sea pig gold mine. Well, now we have two more. Um, I did buy six total. This would be a difficult one to do like a... Uh, we got three pig of sea pig, right? Yeah, three sea pigs. This would be difficult to do like a blindfolded blind box unboxing on because they're all like the same shape. Just yeah. about. Now these are in white eggs. Another sea pig, I'll scream. If it is another sea pig, I will be very confused. But it's not. It's an axolotl! Oh! <laughs> it's so cute! It's so cute! It's so cute! It's so cute! I love axolotls. I actually. So I started following Gary the Axolotl on YouTube and Instagram. And Gary is too. Gary is a big boy. And sometimes um, his handlers put pictures of him with like photoshopped cowboy hats and pirate outfits on their pages. And it is extremely cute. And I just, I love axolotls. And I'm so happy to get another little buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it because I just really like axolotls, you guys. I really, really like axolotls. And finally, number six. And so these are actually pretty easy to open, all things considered. It's just like the outside wrapper. Reminds yeah, me of it doesn't have that much egregious packaging. No, I'm, I'm okay with this. Like, you could put the little buddies back in here. Yeah, you're supposed to, and then put them on your key ring. Or, yeah. Like, clip them to your like, backpack. Carry them with you. Maybe I, I would love to carry him with me. Oh. Ah. Oh, he is hug-shaped. Did you he know is. that? They are hug-shaped. So this is the last one. If it's another sea bear, I'm probably going to be a little sad. Sea we, pig. Sea pig. Sea bear, I don't think we've gotten yet. Uh-oh. No, it's better than that. It's better than that! It's another axolotl! Okay, so uh. it definitely looks like there's a strong chance of getting dupes. Yeah. So there's, there is a strong chance of duplicates, obviously, as we've only got... I opened six, and we only got three different varieties. But, but, two of them are the cutest things... Yep. Man. Two of them are the cutest things in the entire universe, so I'm not too mad. Uh, if you are interested in these for yourself, I'll put a link to the um, Fiesta Toys website in my description. Check them out. They're extremely cute. And like I said, there are so many different varieties of cutie beans. Like they've got some that are exclusively at Cedar Fair Amusement Parks, exclusively at SeaWorld and Bush Gardens, which is weird because they're Sesame Street and you would think that those would be at Sesame Place. But yeah, I guess these, they're, they're uh, in the theme park market a little bit or, or attraction market. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you are interested in more toy unboxing videos, blind box unboxing videos, I've got a whole bunch and I'll link some at the end of this video. Social media links are in the description below. We have a Patreon if you are interested in supporting the channel further. That's patreon.com forward slash Elise Explosion. Click the little bell because if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Thank you all so much and we'll see you in the next video. Later.